In this video, I'm going to show you how to perform the monthly maintenance on the Cobus 6000. Um, so you're going to need some deionized water. You're also going to need some lint-free gauze. And uh, also helpful are these Osmo cleaners that we have. Just get into the tiny spaces of the um, water bath. And you're also going to need reaction cells because we'll be changing these um, with the monthly maintenance. And you're also going to need a vacuum cleaner to um, clean various filters around the instrument. So a quick overview of what the monthly maintenance includes is incubation water bath cleaning, and then you have to clean the KCL and detergent aspiration filters, and then also some various other filters around the machine, and um, also in conjunction with the incubation water bath cleaning, we're going to replace the reaction cells. Now, in order to start um, the incubation water bath cleaning, you need to select incubator bath cleaning and execute it. And what this is going to do is drain the water from the water bath so you can get in there. Um, it's important to note that you have to keep the cover closed before you can start this. Um, so just make sure the cover's closed. Go ahead and execute it. And you can monitor it. And uh, what it's going to say in the 501, it's going to go from incubation bath cleaning, draining to wait restart. And once it goes to the wait restart, um, the next thing you'll be able to do is hit continue, and that's what you're going to do afterwards, um, after the reaction cells are back in, and that'll refill the bath. And then you're going to have to perform wash reaction parts and a cell blank measurement um, before you move on to using the uh, analyzer. So in exchanging or removing the reaction cells, first thing you need to do is go ahead and um, remove the wash station. Just being gentle as you do that, not to disturb the tubes too much. And then you're also going to have to remove two of the reaction cells before you can actually pull this out of the machine because of that aluminum splash cover. So just go ahead and just pull out two of these sections. And that'll allow you to remove the whole um, reaction cell. Screwing them. And then see so you have the gap there, you can line it up with the aluminum splash guard. And then just go ahead and unscrew the center piece. And uh, make sure you uh, lift up all the splash guards because you don't want to break those. And then once you have everything out of the way, you're good to just go ahead and pull it out. And just for a closer view of how I was removing those, it's just basically two thumb, sc or thumb screws. You don't need any tools. Um, you don't really need to tighten these um, a lot when you're putting them back on. And for the cleaning, you're just going to need to go ahead and grab your lint-free gauze and just get out any uh, growth in here. Um, just wipe it down, get any of the grit out. Um, you can use like our Osmo cleaners and get in the crevices a little bit better than you can with the lint-free gauze. Also, there is a um, water drain filter here in the back. Just pull that out and you can just clean out any debris um, with deionized water. And then just don't forget to put it back in. And then once you're done there, just make sure that when you put all of the reaction cells on that you still leave your two spaces available and you have to line up that notch with the hole in the reaction cell holder. Uh, so just align it to where your two missing reaction cells will be able to fit over that uh, aluminum splash plate. And then just go ahead and I think it gave me a little trouble here. Uh, just line up that notch and just put it in. Yes, yeah, so you had to move it a little bit to get it more aligned. And then there we go. See I have it in there. And uh, you can check to make sure everything free spins, and then once it seems good, you can go ahead and place the other two reaction cells on. Um, next is going to be the KCL aspiration filter. Just make sure you put your cover on before you do this so you don't contaminate any of your diluents. Um, and basically all you're going to do is uh, remove the aspiration filter and push some DI water through it with our, like a squeeze bottle or however you have it set up. And then just dry it off, put it back on, and uh, you're done. Next, you would do the same exact thing for your two detergents. And then once you're done doing that, you can move on um, to the various filters. Now, there's one down here at the bottom. And this is on the 501 side. Uh, there's one over here. And there's one more behind this panel. 
and you have to unscrew this one. It can be a little bit difficult for people with larger hands to get in these little spaces. And lastly, there's the one in the back. And um, that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.